New developments tonight. Youth sports are back in town, at least some of them. Well, Governor Steve Sisolak announcing minimal or no contact sports will be allowed starting tomorrow. And reporter Ashton Mendez right now is live from Gary Reese Freedom Park to explain all this. Ashton, a lot of parents are very curious. That's right, Todd and Tricia. Something is better than nothing, right? That's what a lot of parents and teens will say now that youth sports are back, but not all of them will be allowed. Kimberly Brock is a proud soccer mom. Her 15-year-old daughter has been playing soccer since first grade, and she currently plays for Heath FC. They're both excited to be ready for future games. What a lot of people don't know is that the teams have been training together in a no-contact phase for about four to five months. So now with this new directive, they'll be allowed to compete and that's very important um, for some of the higher level athletes as well as those uh, seeking college recruitment. recruitment. So yeah, it's a big deal. The lifting of restrictions for minimal and no contact youth sports starts this Saturday at 12.01 a.m. Other sports like baseball, golf and track and field are also allowed However, pro sports and high school games are not included. Also, basketball, football, and boxing are prohibited. Several health and safety protocols are required, including screening for athletes, coaches, and staff, limited share equipment, and cooperating with health authorities. We have asked for very reasonable restrictions on youth sports as it relates to distancing, timing, masking, so forth and so on. I am confident that they will follow the regulations and the coaches and the parents are role models. Kimberly says that on her daughter's team, precautions have been taken already and parents are also on top of their kids' safety. As us as parents, we try to follow the rules because we've been waiting for this day and I, I'm pretty sure everyone's on board with continuing to follow the rules to make sure they can all safely play and compete and we can move forward with tournaments in our state, which is a very big thing in Las Vegas. And just to let you know, tournaments will be allowed to be back on October 24th if their safety plans are approved by the state. So maybe in the following weeks, we'll see more activity in parks like this one, the Gary Reese Freedom Park. Reporting live, Astrid Mendez, 13 Action News.